Chaos of this shattered neighborhood, Al Bramstead could not have known about his 12-year-old friend named Perry Mead, who lived just a few blocks away. Perry had tried to rescue his baby brother. He ran back into the house and grabbed the infant, and as he was running out the front door, the earth opened up right at the edge of the porch, and as he ran out down the sidewalk, the old earth opened up and he went right down into the crevice. They never saw Perry or the infant ever again. Anchorage was in shocked disbelief. There was huge devastation. The landslide just dropped large sections of the city down underwater. It was, it was terrible. Out of the blue, just moments after the quake in the small coastal community of Seward, Alaska, a series of tsunamis created a scene straight from hell. Both the oil tanks and docks are on fire at Seward. There was a tank farm, and uh, some of those tanks uh, broke. Fuel went in the water. That fuel ignited, and subsequent tsunami waves brought that burning fuel back towards shore. But as terrible as the Alaska quake was, at least it happened in an area with a relatively small population. Increasingly, seismologists are worried about the risk to a giant metropolitan area with 200 times as many people. That city is Los Angeles, just 30 miles from the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. It is crisscrossed by other dangerous faults which help shape the mountains that surround the city. Seismologists now see a pattern similar to what was seen in Northern California in the decades before the great quake of 1906. Southern California has seen numerous moderate quakes in recent decades, some of which have been caught on live television. For example, there is a strategy that's being used. Oh, there's an earthquake here in Los Angeles. My goodness, a live earthquake right here. My God. And I don't think anything's gonna fall on me. KNBC anchor Ken Shockneck was on the air when a magnitude 6.1 quake hit in 1987. And here's another aftershock or another earthquake uh, happening right now. I'm not sure which. I'm going to get under this desk. I apologize for the theatrics. When it comes to safety, he did exactly okay. the right thing. But if we look at Los Angeles over the last several decades, there have been an awful lot of moderate to sometimes even large earthquakes. And this may be the beginning of sort of a preparation for a much larger earthquake. And the largest earthquakes, of course, will be on the southern San Andreas Fault. And that's not the only fault that they're concerned about. That's because in 1999, researchers discovered a highly dangerous formation called the Puente Hills Fault that cuts right under downtown LA. If that one breaks loose, estimates are between 3,000 and 18,000 people could die. KFWB Los Angeles, uh, we're talking to Southern California right now following a very strong earthquake that rocked the studios here in Hollywood. That result would be far worse than the magnitude 6.7 Northridge quake that struck directly underneath the area in 1994. The shaking continuing here in uh, Hollywood. That was the most costly earthquake in American history with more than $20 billion in damage. More than 60 people died and 9,000 were injured. The first pile you come to is where they're at. Incredible scenes played out in some of the area's most densely populated neighborhoods. Civilians and emergency workers worked side by side attempting to rescue trapped neighbors. One couple died as their home crashed down this hillside. But the toll could have been much higher if the city's earthquake building codes were not some of the best in the country. They actually had mandated that all unreinforced brick buildings be either removed or strengthened. And they gave the building owners 10 years to do that. And fortunately, that was done, and those buildings were corrected or removed just prior to the Northridge earthquake in 1994. Coming up, there are cities that have been hit by tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods, but they've also experienced some of the country's worst earthquakes. You may be surprised by which cities are in danger.
Returning to our story now, Dateline is about to give a typical American family an unprecedented demonstration of the deadly power of an earthquake. But a monster quake can happen just about anywhere in this country. In fact, some of the biggest in our history have occurred in places you might never expect. Here again is Hoda Kotb. In San Francisco, the Fritch family knows they are living on shaky ground. Now, they'd like to know what might happen to their home if the big one hits. I would, and I probably will be amazed. Later, we'll see if the Fritch's home is prepared for that monster earthquake, experts say.